It's funny how many life lessons you can learn from Pokemon. This time, the lesson I wish to bring to you from this wonderful little game series comes from its uh, online play. It's battling. It's competitive battling. Like I said before, it's a fun little thing. Passes time. But the lesson to be taken this time from it is dealing with problems. You see, in the Pokemon battling, you have to make decisions based on the fact that, well, you have a problem. Your opponent has dudes. you got to knock them out. So you have to make decisions. You have to deal with this problem. And, well, you need to use the most effective Pokemon for the guy they have out, right? They have out a guy with this type. You need to use the correct response. Now, when dealing with the problems that life were to throw at you, the same rule applies. If you have a problem before you, you need to use the correct tools to deal with the problem. Not just any flailing response will work. I mean, it may to a point, but even if it does solve it, that's a very inefficient way to do it. Just like in Pokemon, you could throw out the wrong type and get lucky or brute force your way through, but it's not an effective way to win, and it might cost you the match to do one battle that way. Now, taking this whole thing to where it can be useful to you, when a problem occurs in your life, take a moment to assess the situation. Don't just jump in and say, well, there's something happening, I need to do something right now, let's fix it, go. That's, you're rushing. And unless the situation actually calls for you to rush immediately, don't. Take a moment to see what the problem is made up of, to see what causes the problem, and what tools you have on hand to deal with the problem. If you take the time to evaluate it, you may find that, well, yeah, it's a problem, but you actually have the answer right here. If you just do this one thing, you can address it. But you may not have noticed that at first. Now, the counterpoint to this comes to, while you should take the time to evaluate the situation, choose the correct tools to fight the problem, don't take forever to do that. Like, at least if you're playing with the online Pokemon simulators, you usually have a battle timer. You can't spend ten minutes choosing your right move. You have a limit. And many times, problems will have those sorts of limits to them, where you don't have forever to solve them. So when you take the time to evaluate the circumstances and look at your arsenal, keep in mind your time limits. Keep in mind that, yes, you should not jump into things immediately, but don't spend forever making your decision. Don't be paralyzed by the fact that you have a choice to make and then make no choice at all. These two angles here must work together in your thought process when dealing with a problem. Don't rush it. But don't let yourself get caught up so much in the solving of the problem that you don't execute the solving. It's an easy trap to fall into. You're so worried about what could happen next that you never make your current decision. And it's, it's a balancing act. It involves that ever-important thing called moderation. But just take stock of your situation, including how much time you have left. Take stock of your tools, the options, the problem itself. Be aware of what's going on around you. And then when a problem does occur, you have tools, options, and ways to deal with it. And if you just use the right one, well, you'll find that problems are usually less than they seem to be at first. Just something to think about.